beautiful setting of Ackle Island overlooking Black Sod Bay is one of Ireland's newest aquaculture businesses, Ackle Island Turbot, and its founder is Michael Fanagan. Michael, what made you decide to farm turbot? Well, turbot is a fish of supreme eating quality, a prime white fish, and in common with many other fish species, there's less and less of it available in the wild. The market demand is still there, not being satisfied, and any of it that's farmed is farmed in southern Europe. And what would be, we'll say, the percentage being farmed? It's probably half and half, half farmed and half caught in our own seas. And are you the first turbot farm in Ireland? We're the only turbot farm in Ireland at the moment. There have been a number of small farms in the past, but we're the first and only commercial turbot farm in venture in Ireland. Describe the process of farming turbot. Turbot are produced initially in a hatchery, mm -hmm. um, which is quite a specialised operation. We don't do that part of it. We take the turbot in between 5 and 10 grams, and we grow them on until they're a market size, which is about a kilo or thereabouts. And we do that in about 14, 15, 16 months, depending on the fish itself. In the wild, the turbot, their environment is the ocean floor. They're sedentary animals. They live on the ocean floor. They don't move much other than to feed. So we keep them in long rectangular tanks where they just sit comfortably on the bottom and they live a happy life. And was the quality of the water one of the deciding factors to locate here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the water, with the raw material, the water has to be first class. And um, we have that available to us here in Ackle. So you have the pristine waters. What else do you feed the fish on? The turbot are fed a pelleted feed, which is made principally of uh, fish meal and fish oil from sustainable sources without leaving any negative impact on the environment. That's very important to everything we're doing here in Ackle with Ackle Island turbot. So as you said, the fish are quite sedentary. How do you keep the fish from not getting too fatty or oily? Well, the diet is formulated specifically for turbot. It doesn't have a huge quantity of oil in it. It has as much oil as they need. Mm -hmm. And they're sedentary animals. They don't move much. Uh, they don't expend a lot of energy. And as a result, their flesh is a pristine white color, whiter than almost any other eating fish. So I guess in the end of the day, when I'm buying a fish, it's really the taste that's the deciding factor for me. So what would be the difference between the taste of we'll say, a farm turbot and a wild turbot? There's very little difference, if any difference. The diet is, is principally the same diet they're going to eat in the wild, fish okay. meal and fish oil. We can't talk about fish farming and not mention sustainability. So how is your fish farm sustainable? The type of system we use is known as recirculation, where we use essentially the same body of water again and again. We have minimal extraction of water from the sea, minimal depletion of natural resources. The water circulates continually. The waste products are removed from the water. The solid waste is taken out with a drum filter, which is essentially a giant sieve. And this is quite a valuable nutrient and fertilizer down the road. And the dissolved waste, we have a lot of friendly bacteria in a biological filter, which um, renders any, any dissolved waste harmless to the fish and the water completes the cycle again. And the proof is that the, you see the fish are lying happily, happily feeding, if the, fish were, if the water wasn't as it should be, the fish wouldn't be happy, the fish wouldn't be growing, and you wouldn't have the excellent turbot at the end of the day. So, Michael, when do you hope to get the first fish on the market? Well, our first batch has almost completed the growing cycle, and they'll be going to market in a few months' time. Well, the best of luck. Great. Hope it goes well. Thank you very much.